Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Very Magical Stew. I'll probably put like a imagination thing right here. Welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Stew. This is going to be the first episode of the first season of the first mega season of the first TV show. Where today we are obviously checking out Collector's Edition. If you're a fellow video game collector, like I'm going to be soon, I mean, I have PlayStation 4 games, but you know, that's not the point. Collector's editions, usually, I, I know Scott the List did a video about this, that's why I took inspiration, and Video Game Donkey. So, collector's editions usually focus on the game itself, and then cramming a bunch of statues, uh, exclusive DLCs, exclusive codes, like that nonsensical BS. We don't care, I mean, some people do for the sole fact of having a, I don't know, a three foot tall uh, Assassin's Creed Origins uh, dude with an arrow with eagle on his shoulder. I think some people uh, want that for like, to, for the collection, for it to look cool, I don't know. But usually I looked at collector's editions as companies cram a bunch of things into a humongous uh, 10 by 10 box. Uh, put a statue, DLC codes, a uh, couple couple of maps, something like that. Like the GTA ones. I don't play GTA. I've seen the collector's editions though. All they like they even include the the actual maps. Rockstar does. Uh, that was in Red Dead. I think Red Dead One. You know all the GTA ones, except for, I don't remember for I don't think the first and the first couple ones had it. But they they give you a map and like Nicky Jakey said in one of his videos. He was doing a GTA 4 mission. Yeah, I like doing this. Don't don't judge me. I just had breakfast. I know it's like the middle of the day, but you know, I woke up at six today, and I don't. I have I have very late breakfast just because um I liked it that way. So he made a video about Red Dead 2. I mean, I think it was, and then he made a, the whole. Here's the Lego bucket, which does look appealing, but you can do a bunch of more stuff. And then here's the Lego set that restricts you. This is Rockstar likes to fumble in these. Here's the Lego bucket. I'll put a JPEG here. And then here's the Lego set. This Lego set particularly will be the Frozen, and I'm gonna put fire under it. Cause let's melt the ice. Yeah, I don't like Frozen. I I don't know if you watched my previous video, but I don't like Frozen. This is gonna come. This is gonna come after. I'm gonna it's like I recorded another video before this. I'm not gonna tell you which one because I wanted to find out. But I'm probably gonna post this one after the PT one, so you get the reference. Then I'm gonna post the other one that I recorded a couple days ago. Then I'm gonna post another one. I'm gonna try to upload every day. I'm kind of lazy at editing, but I'm pretty good at it. I think like I don't know. Five out of ten, and he he said that. Uh, b b going back to uh, Nicky Jakey's video, he said that uh, he was gonna do a mission in Red Dead where he could uh, not use the mini map with the like, little circle here. Uh, here's another circle, and then uh, you know, too many too many circles for me. Uh, so he made a video about not use about Red Dead, and then he was like, "Oh, I didn't use this. Uh, I didn't use the mini map, and then I had to park here. I parked, but oh well. What do you know? I had to park in this exact spot. Thank you, Rockstar. I mean, I understand that you want to make it like a whole open world 3D kind of style, but if you're gonna make it open world." Then why won't you let the person do what they want? Like Metal Gear Solid, they they let you do a fine job. It's like as uh, as Donkey said. I make a lot of references to YouTubers. It was either Jakey or uh, it was either Jakey or Donkey. They said uh, one of them said uh, Ko uh, Kojima saw a, uh, the box. He was like, "What's that thing?" He just threw it away. Obviously, he doesn't think outside the box. He just sees the box. He's like. So that that's where I that's my thinking space. You know what? Screw that box and he just throws it away and goes insane with <laughs> insane. Here's another Crash Bandicoot reference. <laughs> uh, but really, he what he does is makes it makes his make make his games really good. I haven't played any, but you know I have a PS One. I don't, but I'm probably gonna get one. But you know, I don't know. And what he he did was he 
didn't th he thought way outside the box and made the games good and then they get fired him but it's not the video this video is about collector's editions and th they always include maps rockstar games and so nike and jakey used it in one of his uh playthroughs and it was pretty cool because there was a mission like okay this street and this 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 guy this car find him you get the reward and he has to actually pop out the map for the first time and and that's where the point is like rockstar includes uh, maps in their collector's edition i think in collectors i don't even i think they just include it for the sole fact uh but that's that's the that's the reference for to make here is that they include maps in every single one of their games and the next one is ea power to the players <laughs> Um, the EA ones, collector's editions. I have, I have a list here. I, it's on my, it's on my, it's on the iPad. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying. I'm looking at different ones because I can't think of everything on the top of, on the top of my head. There is ones that are quality, like the Uncharted ones, the ones that they release only for PS4, because you know Naughty Dog is a good company. Crash Bandicoot. I'm also gonna make a video about them, so please stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna make all three actually. Um. And uh, they make a quality collector's edition because it actually makes sense. They add uh, the steel book, which a lot of a lot of companies like to do the steel book one. I have no idea why. Uh, Assassin's Creed steel book collector's edition. I don't even think steel book is even that valuable. So, I mean, for for like in, in my case, I don't really think about the steel books. But you know, that's just my opinion. And the EA ones are usually, let me think here. Yeah, it says here, like the NBA 2K. What are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that? Come on, NBA 2K, really? Like, I know they started out with a couple of games like Madden and like, I don't know if they, I think they do. Yeah, so they basically, they own every single sports game. 2K owns WWE. We uh, WWE, um, which I I bought like three copies of 2017, 2018, and 2016. Um, don't judge me. I thought those. I thought those. I thought those were good games at least back in back in 2016, and 2017, and 2018. I bought the 2018 edition. What do you? No, I don't think I bought. No, I think I bought the 2015, 2016, 2017, 2017. But what they like to do is they like to use a lot of words. Like the Michael Jordan special edition. What comes with it? I don't know. Let me check. Let me check. Let me find it again. Where is it? Hold up. Yeah, there it is. Wait a second. I'm still trying to look. Guys, don't judge me. I am very... Hold up. Mm, where is it? What is going on? Hold up. Overwatch collector's edition. Oh, wrong thing. Yeah, there it is. There it is, Michael Jordan Special Edition, PS4 and Xbox One. So, let me tell you what comes with it. It's not, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, so it's, still, it's still loading, so let's just have a quick uh, intermission here. Let's put this in the background, intermission, Spongebob style. I'm also going to make a Spongebob video about the new rehydrated. Okay, there it is. So here's what it comes with. The Jordan edition comes with an upper deck poster, because everybody needs a poster, everybody's a poster guy. If you're not a poster guy, don't talk to me. It also comes with a uh, Jordan mini fathead wall decal. Physical items are not available with digital copies, of course. If you use digital, don't talk to me. Uh, Jordan jersey, Jordan XYV. I don't know how to read those numbers because I haven't been taught because I am a <laughs> Jordan shirt and my team VIP plus and 30,000 VC, which I think is a currency. Dude, I think what they need to stop doing I mean, I know it's like an annual franchise where it's like every single every single year they need to pump out a new NBA game so that the the money keeps on growing. But you know, it's not gonna work because you know people get to realize that this is eventually the same game, just with a different number on it. Like, come on, that's like okay. I understand the whole uh, franchise thing. Like Crash Bandicoot one, nice game. Crash Bandicoot two. Okay, game. I kind of hate it because of the controls. C Crash 3, my favorite. The Insane Trilogy would probably be... Uh, in the Insane Trilogy would probably be num uh, number one because it has better controls. I played the original for a little bit. 
and it's hard. Like it's 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 like that. Brother Bobby, come on, it's too hard. Crash Three on original is probably my favorite because it has the best controls. Like Jim Caddick, aka Cadicarus. His his favorite is also Crash Three. Uh, Cash Manuka. He didn't name the third one anything. So I'm gonna name it Dwarfed. Yeah. Cash Banuka 3 Dwarfed. Yeah. So all we're gonna name is that. So from now on, if I only make a reference to Crash 3, I'm only gonna say Cash Banuka Dwarfed. And I think, yeah, these are really good. And then, and then the, the other companies decided, you know what? Let's make Crash Bash. You know, everybody's gonna love Crash Bash. Everybody loves Crash Bash, right? Everybody loves another Crash Bash, you know. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's, uh, we're running out of ideas. Oh no, sales need to go up. Let's do Crash 4, uh, Wrath of Cortex. Wrath of, uh, Wrath of, uh, Mr. Krabs, because he's the original voice. Uh, Crash, cra cra what do we, what do we do for the next one? Crash 5, Twin, Twin Sanity, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, let's pump out a new nitro car. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, uh, let's do a 3D brawler. Let's just throw that in. Uh, so that's how that's how the NBA thing it it doesn't change, but these change not in a good way. I mean, I still enjoyed Wrath of Cortex a little bit. I enjoyed some of the level designs, but what they do is they just add a number. Let's go look at the NBA 2K17. Let's check if they have anything different. Legend Edition. What comes with the Legend Edition? We have no idea. Uh, the site doesn't say anything about it. Actually, no. Limited Edition Kobe poster. Rip in, rest, rest in peace, Kobe. Rest, rest in peace. Black Mamba controller skin. Okay. Two Panini Kobe trading cards. Rest in peace. 30,000 virtual currency, of course. My Team Bundle Plus, including three packs with guaranteed Kobe free agent cards. Okay. Uh, rest in peace. In game, 2K Kobe uh, X one shoes aka okay, 11 i think uh uh in game kobe number eight M michelle and Nez jersey in game kobe hoodie so that's what it comes with i mean you kind of change it but also at the same time what's the point i know there's i know you need to push out sales to some extent but it's still very annoying when you realize that these franchises are like look okay let's Let's go look at, I don't know, WWE. Uh, let's go search up WWE. 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 I used to think that their, the battles in the ring were actually battles in the ring. But actually, wait, nothing popped up. That's sad. But I used to think, I used to think they were real. But no, it's not right. So, it's, kind of, it's kind of an embarrassing thing. Um, so also the uh, the other animal franchises is Assassin's uh, is Ass Creed, obviously. Uh, I used to think like I like Unity, obviously, but there's also the DLC and then that thing and then another DLC and all of that and the and then uh, what was it called? I think it was called uh, Ass Creed number. I don't, I don't, I, I, they're releasing a new Valhalla one about Vikings. I don't know if they're going to change anything other than make it Vikings. Uh, but what I'm trying to say here is the collector's edition just really depends on the company. Like Doom, per se. I just saw Doom right here. Where is it? Yeah, Doom's collector's edition. No, 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 not Far Cry. I want Doom. Hold on. So a bunch of companies like to have their steel book cover. Okay, so this one, yeah, let's just put a steel book. I don't know, right here. I don't know what the camera's gonna catch it. I'm probably gonna say right here. Um, so that's the steel book that everybody's talking about. Uh, Cause everybody likes to use a steel book, you know, the steel, everybody's using steel because we have infinite amount of that. And then the Doom one actually looks pretty sick. It has 12, 12 inch statue on LED lit base with internal slow spinning turbine. Okay. Exclusive metal case. Okay. Supplies are limited. Please check your preferred re retailer for availability. Right. That's it. That's all you get. You, you get the game as well. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. It looks pretty cool. I don't know. Let's talk about something. I mean, they always... I don't know why collector's editions have to include a statue, except for the Red Dead ones, because I didn't... I, I, I watched a video on the collector's edition one. They didn't include one. 
statue, I don't think, but they included a bunch of cool stuff, like newspapers in the collector's edition of Red Dead 2. Uh, they included playing cards, they included a box, but not the game, because, you know, Red Dead doesn't have any, doesn't have any time to put, uh, I don't think Rockstar intent, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a historian, but uh, they didn't put anything in it. So, really, <clears throat> what Ubisoft does is they just release new SAS ass creed and they decide to list you know what uh, you know what this is how I imagine it so we're re releasing uh, Valhalla right yeah yeah we are so what are we gonna do about it I don't know let's like release a, a collector's edition yeah pretty pretty good pretty good idea and uh what are we gonna call it uh, let's just copy Origins, because Origins, let me break character here. Origins had a Dawn of the Creed. I don't know what they're going to call the Valhalla one, but there's probably going to be, like, the Viking, I don't know, something with Vikings. Yeah, let's call it something with Vikings, I don't know. And then Cram, a humongous statue. There's, I don't know why, but <laughs> Ubisoft likes to break this down. Uh, uh let, me th let me think. They like to break it down to standard edition, silver edition, no, bronze edition, silver edition, gold edition, gold digital edition, uh, also silver and bronze edition are also digital, so that's even more money, because if you don't want to go to your local GameStop and get harassed at the line by being asked, do you want a free member, do you want a man of free, do you want a membership? Um, so, if you don't want to go into a GameStop and get harassed by employee, I mean, it's not their fault. It's kind of, I think, their boss's fault, as Scott the Boss said in his other video about uh, game stores. If you don't want to go to a GameStop and waste time, then just go on to a digital. But. But. Dude, I am confused on this matter right here. <laughs> Dawn of the Creed will cost you $750. That's like an RTX card. You could, it's like, uh, you, you get, uh, you get a bunch of money from your allowance because you haven't spent any in over five years. You have at least 750 What do you buy, an RTX? Uh, a graphics card? No, loser, you buy a very old, uh, Dawn of the Creed, uh, pack because uh eventually they'll just keep releasing new ones and you decide to spend 750 dollars on a statue that looks like it was made pretty it's pretty well made but i don't get the point and then there's the ones that are actually kind of good like i said the doom one i really like unboxings for some reason i like the way i mean let me just read some stuff down yeah Force Awakens Deluxe Edition. Yeah, see, I don't understand what the point. What's what the what the point? What the what the point is with uh, cramming down a bunch of unnecessary words? Like, if I was if I, if I were to release, let's just say Mario uh, Mario Lost in Time. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a game. If it is, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say different. Let's just say I release a new Mario game, All right? What do I call it? Mario, the Super Mega Perpluxuant Mega Pro Super Master Edition, digital, and the non-digital. See, they either like to use Deluxe Collectors Limited. That's all they like to use. So they could climb it in. The Collectors Deluxe Limited Edition. Oh, what do you want? Oh, you want more words? Uh, collectors Mega Super uh, Pro uh, Digital Currency 3000 V-Bucks Edition. Do you want more? Okay. Uh, we will have the uh, EA uh, release a new title called NBA 2K21. And they can have it be the all new sports let's just think here we can have it the all new sports manga super pro uh edition digital trademark just a little tm there 
so there are some ones that I like the collector's edition I don't understand the Death Island one I'm not gonna put a JPEG of it up here because I'll probably I won't get demonetized but I don't even let's just say it's something very stupid for me at least if you like it you can go ahead search up the collector's edition of De uh, Dead Island Riptide uh, there's ones that are actually pretty cool like the Uncharted one the Uncharted Drake's collection there's so many ones that are actually pretty cool. The Doom ones. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Let me actually go. Let me go check which ones. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, like, I keep seeing a bunch of EA stuff. I don't know if that's okay. Because all they have here is... Yeah, it keeps popping up with uh, Battlefront uh, Deluxe Super Mega Pro Edition. Like, who even cares about Battlefront anymore? Who cares about Battlefront? We have Battlefront 2. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight, the Serious Edition. I have no idea what that one is, but it sounds pretty cool. Let me go check. Also, the Hitman Collector's Edition is pretty cool because they include uh, statues. I know every single one of them has to, but it's... It's pretty cool. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. So, I pretty, I, I like this kit. Uh, not the kit. What am I talking about? I like this one. I like, uh, the Arkham Knight Batman Serious Edition. It includes the game. Uh, what does it say here? The Batman First Appearance skin. And the limited edition 25th anniversary hardcover graphic novel. Uh, Batman Arkham Salem, a serious house on serious earth. So that's pretty cool. They don't they don't cram uh, a bunch of uh, statues down your throat. I mean, the other ones do, but some of them look really cool. And all I'm trying to say is, why does IGN? Why does IGN always have so many? editions in their in their reviews like a new game will come out i don't know like uh crash bandicoot 4 uh, justin thomas no cash Bandicoot 4 it's sorry cash Bandicoot 4 justin thomas will come out let's just say that right they will probably they will probably have a uh collector's edition but i don't think they can take uh, cash Bandicoot to an extent where they have to have a statue. I mean, it would be pretty cool. I mean, they already have an insane trilogy statue, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else they have is pop figures. That would be pretty cool if they included a bop, uh, pop. I always said bop. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Move it. Oh, God, I fell off my chair. Oh, no. <coughs> I know I'm sounding like a... I don't know. Oh god, it's kind of. <sighs> this video made me very tired. It's probably half an hour now. I have to edit it. So, all I'm gonna say is, there better not be a Cash Banuka for Justin Thomas, uh, collector's edition, with something uh, on the lines of, you know what? Actually, thinking it again. You know what, Cash Banuka for Justin Thomas may, uh, I will just, yeah, it can have a collector's edition. I'll probably buy it if I have the money for it. If I don't, I'm just probably going to buy the game. Well, all I'm trying to say with this video, again, is that why does... You know what, actually, there's the point to this. I was going to ask, I was going to say, why does IGN get collector's edition? Obviously, because it's an entertainment company that have to have them that company send it to them stuff like that so it would make sense but let me create another point with this video let me think okay you know what I'm trying to say uh, I'm, what I'm trying to say with this video is EA I know you have to release a uh, new new content of 2k battlefield uh let me think there's a lot of them battlefield uh i don't think call it no call of duty is not one of them you have to release new 
you have to release new battlefield, you have to release new Just Dance, new 2K, new, uh, new WE, WWE, uh, you have to release a bunch of stuff. But please, can you chill out with the collector's editions? It's like I bought, like, let's just say I bought the Kobe edition, rest in peace. I bought the Kobe edition, and then boom, Michael Jordan condition comes out. What do I do? What do I do? Either I sell my Kobe that I just bought. I sell my Kobe edition that I bought for like, let me think, let me see what. I think, I think it's, yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So if I bought, I spent a couple racks. You know, I spent, if I spent a couple racks on a bunch of EA legendary editions. Then what's the point? Because they're probably going to come out with a new 2K every year. So you better not, like. <laughs> When t when they announced that FIFA, Madden, uh, WWE, NBA, and a bunch of other of their franchises like Battlefield, when they say, "Oh yeah, we're done with those, we're ending them, we're cutting them off," then yeah, people are gonna be hauling over, being like, "Hey, I will buy this Kobe Legendary Edition, rest in peace, for uh, five hundred dollars." Yeah, it would make sense because like it's. It's gonna be their final, it's gonna be the final, like, they're not gonna release any more, so, that's the whole point of this, is, I was thinking, if I ever start a video game company, which I probably will not, but, you know, uh, if I ever start one, and I, and I, and I sent out a collector's edition, and another game that's gonna be meaningful and not a franchise like Battlefield, then I'm probably gonna release another one. But it's not going to cost you $750 just for a statue and a couple gift cards to Amazon. Um, by saying $750, I mean the... What is it called again? The Dawn of the Creed. I'm just probably... If I ever run a company about video games and I release a really good title, then I am going to probably release a statue. Uh, probably some some like behind the scenes booklet something about the development of the game and then probably like an exclusive uh either demo and dlc like both of them together to see what the demo looked like in the dlc but that would probably be cost like a hundred bucks collector's edition in a huge box i'm not going to charge people 750 dollars for a statue and a couple gift cards to starbucks i won't I know, I know this whole business thing, it's like, oh yeah, we need to crank out new ones, but I'm not probably going to do that. Uh, and if I decide to cut off my franchise that I'm making and go to retirement, uh, when I'm like probably like 70, then yeah, people are going to be like, oh, I'll, I'll buy this from you, I'll buy this for like $10,000 for this uh, collector's edition. Then yeah, collector's editions bull would become valuable if a franchise shuts off. So let's say NBA 2K shuts off, right? What will happen then? Everybody will start. Everybody is, that is a 2K fan will probably start exchanging collector's editions, you know, exclusive editions, golden editions, stuff like that. And that's when collector's editions will become more valuable than they are now. But they're still valuable. Wanna know why? Because probably every new Assassin's Creed has to come with a bunch of digital editions, a bunch of bronze, and a bunch of silvers, and a bunch of gold editions, and then legendary editions, and then probably a bunch of uh, statue editions. So, if you please could listen to what I'm saying right now, is please like and subscribe. I also have an Instagram. It's, called, it's the same as my YouTube channel. Just. I have an Instagram, please follow that. I have this thing called YouTube. Uh, please like and turn on your notif, and I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara.